Just a couple things of interest on this uh, protector block. I'll show you the basic anatomy of it. Uh, this one here is made by Circa. And uh, you see up, uh, up on the top here, we've got our strain relief boot. It's a rubber boot. Uh, on the side, we've got our grounding lugs. And uh, of course, you can see where the cable goes in. That's the out, outside. There's two sections of this uh, protector block. The first one is on the inside here. And uh, that's where the outside plant polyethylene type 89 cable is going to uh, be terminated to. It's going to route inside this, uh, inside this protector sleeve. You can notice it's dark in here. I've got uh, no power, no lights, so a lot of time in the field you're just stuck with either a flashlight or you got to run some temporary power. And uh, the other thing that you need to know is look inside here you see a uh, 6 gauge grounding wire. I believe 14 gauge is the minimum uh, that you need to uh, ground uh, electrical equipment or low voltage telecommunications cabling. But then we're going to look at the other side here and then to look at this you got to have a, uh, you got to have what's called the can wrench and you can see here this one here is made by Klein it's just a basic uh, 5 16ths and uh, 3 8 inch um, real thin walled hex hex uh, nut set here, nut driver so right down here you can see where the can wrench has got to go in to loosen this up so we'll go ahead and undo it and you can see this front panel here is where all the fuses get plugged into and of course and then you've got the 110 block down here on the bottom side this will be the out so the cable on the back side the outside plant cable will go through the fuse protectors once we get those we'll plug them in and it'll come out here with whatever cable that way the, the, the cable is protected from lightning strikes or uh, electrostatic discharge anything uh, high voltage